Linear equations in one variable, x is 2.2. Find x in the following figures. Given triangle ABC, one exterior angle and two opposite interior angles are given. In a triangle, an exterior angle is always equal to the sum of interior opposite angles. So in triangle ABC, x plus 56 is equal to 123. x equal to 123 minus 56 x equal to 67 degrees. Second bit. Triangle PQR is given. The sum of three angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, in triangle PQR, P plus Q plus R equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, 45 plus 3x plus 16 plus 68 equal to 180. 3x plus 16 plus 113 is 180. 3x plus 129 is 180 degrees. 3x equal to 180 minus 129 which is equal to 51 degrees. Therefore, x equal to 51 by 3 that is equal to 17 degrees. Third bit. In triangle ABC, angle A plus angle B plus angle C is always equal to 180. Therefore, 25 plus x plus 30 equal to 180. x plus 55 equal to 180. x equal to 180 minus 55 x equal to 125. Fourth bit. Triangle XYZ is an isosceles triangle. That means it has two equal sides. And the angles opposite to the equal sides are also equal. Therefore, in XYZ, angle Y is equal to angle Z. Therefore, 2x plus 7 is equal to 45. 2x equal to 45 minus 7. 2x equal to 38. x equal to 38 by 2. x equal to 19 degrees. Fifth bit. In the above figure, we can see that triangle ABO and triangle CDO are isosceles triangles. That means angle uh, side AB is equal to side AO, <coughs> side CD is equal to side CO. So we know that in an isosceles triangle, the angles opposite to the equal sides are also equal. Therefore, angle ABO is equal to angle AOB. Similarly, in triangle COD, angle COD is equal to angle CDO. So, we know that angle ABO is 3x plus 10. It's given in the problem. Therefore, angle AOB is also equal to 3x plus 10. Now, in this figure, angle AOB and angle COD are vertically opposite angles. Vertically opposite angles are always equal. Therefore, we can conclude that angle COD is also equal to 3x plus 10. Now, we know the values of angle COD and angle OCD. That is given 2x in the problem. Therefore, since it is also an isosceles triangle, angle ODC is also equal to 3x plus 10. Again, we use the angle sum property of a triangle. So, 2x plus 3x plus 10 plus 3x plus 10 equal to 180. So, 2x plus 6x plus 20 is equal to 180. 8x plus 20 is 180. 8x is 180 minus 20. 8x is 160. x is 160 minus 8. x equal to 20. Again, we'll have a look at this once again. In this figure, these two are isosceles triangles. Therefore, angle ABO is equal to angle AOB. Okay? And angle COD is equal to angle CDO. Okay? Then, since angle ABO is 3x plus 10, it's given. So, we can conclude that angle AOB is also equal to 3x plus 10. In the given figure, AOB equal to COD because they are vertically opposite angles. Therefore, angle COD equal to 3x plus 10. From second equation, angle COD equal to angle CDO. Therefore, angle CDO is also 3x plus 10. Now, in triangle CDO, we will apply the angle sum property. Angle OCD plus angle CDO plus angle COD equal to 180 degrees. 2x plus 3x plus 10 plus 3x plus 10 equal to 180. 2x plus 6x plus 20 equal to 180. 8x plus 20 is 180. 8x is 160. x is 160 by 8 that is 20 degrees. 
second problem the difference between two consecutive numbers is 8 if 2 is added to the bigger number the result will be 3 times the smaller number find the numbers let the two numbers be x and x plus 8 because these two numbers differ by 8 if 2 is added to larger number what is the larger number here x plus 8 we are adding 2 to this so x plus 8 plus 2 it becomes x plus 10 okay it becomes x plus 10 so given x plus 10 equal to 3x 3 times smaller number 3 into x x plus 10 equal to 3x x uh, so 3x minus x is 10 2x is 10 and x is 10 by 2 5 so the smaller number x is 5 and the bigger number is x plus 8 that is 5 plus 8 so 13 so the two numbers are 5 and 13 what are those two numbers whose sum is 58 and difference is 28 now let the two numbers be x and y it is given in the problem that x plus y equal to 58 and x minus y equal to 28. So, we are adding equation 1 and equation 2. So, x plus y equal to 58, x minus y equal to 28. We are adding these two. Plus y minus y cancel. x plus x is 2x. 58 plus 28 is 86. So, 2x is 86, x equal to 86 by 2, x equal to 43. From first equation, we know that x plus y equal to 58. So, substituting this x value in equation 1, we get 43 plus y equal to 58. y equal to 58 minus 43, y equal to 15. So, we got the values of x and y. So, the two numbers are 43 and 15. The sum of... 2 consecutive odd numbers is 56. Find the numbers. So, we know that any 2 consecutive odd numbers always differ by 2. So, we will we'll assume that the 2 consecutive odd numbers are x and x plus 2. It is given that sum of these 2 consecutive odd numbers is 56. Therefore, x plus x plus 2 is 56. 2x plus 2 is 56. 2x equal to 54 x equal to 54 by 2 therefore x equal to 27 so the two odd numbers are x and x plus 2 means 27 and 27 plus 2 so they are 27 and 29 the sum of three consecutive multiples of 7 is 777 find these multiples so let the three consecutive multiples be x x plus 7 and x plus 14 why because the multiples of 7 always differ by 7 if they are consecutive. Okay. X, X plus 7 and X plus 14. So, it is given that sum of these 3 consecutive multiples of 7 is 777. So, X plus X plus 7 plus X plus 14 is 777. So, 3X plus 21 equal to 777. 3X equal to 777 minus 21. 3x is 756, x is 756 by 3, x equal to 252. Now we know the value of x. We have assumed that the three numbers are x, x plus 7 and x plus 14. Therefore, three numbers are 252, 252 plus 7 and 252 plus 14. Therefore, the three numbers are 252, 259 and 266 if you like my video like share and subscribe thank you